Hey guys, September 7th here and Brad and I are out on the farm. This is the Terrace Farm that we introduced a couple of weeks ago. It's been a busy day so far. Got Jared's Kentucky hunt um, about one o'clock this morning. Got it up on the main show and just wanted to give him a shout out again. Congrats on that awesome buck. Something that made me realize I really, really want to shoot a velvet deer. But we're back out here. Haven't talked about this farm since we introduced it a couple of weeks ago, but Zach and I have been out here a couple of different times. We got some stands hung up, and specifically the one that's right over my right shoulder. This is the one that we're probably the most excited about. Um, this is a spot where that Millie buck is that big nine, split brows, and then the kicker coming off his right base. He is hard horned, and he's still calling this area home. We don't know for sure that he's gonna stick around, but if we had to place a bets on one, this would be the buck. So. He's our best target and uh, basically this spot is being created so that we can hopefully harvest him in October. So we got a food plot over our back shoulder. Brad came out here. Uh, like I mentioned in that first vlog, we were able to build a relationship with a local farmer and he was gracious enough to drill in that big and beastie for us in a timely rain. And we do have some germination, which is awesome. So right now I'm going to start getting to work on a straight post to be in bone range and then he's going to start trimming some lanes. but. It's just exciting, you know, even though it is September, I feel like we should have this stuff done already. But first year on the farm, we're learning more and more, and uh, we're going to get to work now. So one thing again that we're making sure that we're doing here is rather than putting the limb like this, you know, that way if the buck was to come straight onto it, he's gonna be facing us. We don't want that. I'm gonna put it more at an angle. So hopefully either he comes at it from this angle, which is where we've been getting photos of him going back in the bed, or he's coming down the bottom of the plot and up again, just so that when he does hit it, hopefully he's not staring straight at us and where we have a shot angle. All right, there's another camera checked, and uh, we've got about 10 left, I wanna say. They're all on the west side of the farm, but Millie was on here again. Uh, not sure how recent that was, just flipping through really quickly, but I hate walking through this part of the timber right now, um, but this is gonna be our last time for we're in here for a while, and it's supposed to rain all week, so hopefully that'll wash away our scent, but we're gonna keep chugging along here. It's crazy, Zach and I are just talking about it. This corn's already dry. It sounds like we should be in a tree stand and uh, anticipating these colors aren't far behind, but it's exciting times. Sooner than later, we're gonna be in a stand. And I definitely cannot wait. Yeah, golly, there that's is. a big deer, dude. He's gonna be a giant, giant. Yeah, he is. That's a good picture of him right there. So I'm standing in the camera location that we got that picture of that really big deer in velvet the last time we introduced this farm. And since then, Brad and I have decided that we think that deer is four. And uh, 
Unfortunately, that means we're not gonna hunt him, which we're a-okay with. That's the whole reason why we've been working our butts off to get a piece of ground like this, is just to have the caliber of deer and hopefully see him through to next year. But one of the photos that we got was of him very recently, and he was working the scrape that's behind me. So I'm just gonna take this camera. That's the nice thing about these posts. I can take this Cuddy Link camera, move it right over here. I'm gonna see if I can start picking up bucks on this scrape. So it's exciting. This, with the farmer coming in and mowing, this made this spot just a little bit more easy to travel through. It was very narrow before that, but uh, I think it's gonna be a cool spot. This is a place where I think we potentially are gonna pick up new bucks during the rut. Our biggest piece of timber is actually to our northwest here, and honestly, we've hardly ever stepped foot in it. So no idea what to expect, but gonna get this camera moved and keep pushing along. Well, as you guys can probably tell, it's starting to get really cloudy. And uh, as I mentioned, we have that rain coming. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days. We just doctored up this scrape, I guess you could say it. This is one of the trees we saw that buck in the background. Basically, I just opened it up and uh, moved the camera. And I'm expecting to get him. But more importantly, get some of those other bucks that, you know, there's a, a wide eight that Zach has a green light on. And then there's also a heavy eight pointer that's pretty cool. So, like I mentioned, I think this is a spot where we might be able to pick up some new deer as a, you know, let me take that back. I think this entire farm could change. Um, you know, it's it's big enough that, you know, the deer that we have right now, I'm hoping there's some shifting going on. We get some new faces. So hopefully we do pick up a new buck here. Um, but we still got three or four more cameras to get done. And uh, fortunately it looks like the rain's coming and I can actually start to feel it. So we're gonna have to hustle. Might have to put the camera away, but hey, we've been praying for rain and it's finally here, so. That's exactly what we wanted. We're gonna keep going. Whoa. That's a different deer. That's a stud eight. I would shoot him all day. <laughs> yeah, that's a good looking deer. You see his little... Oh, he's heavy. Dude. What up? Brad's gonna freak out about that. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to that next camera and um, lo and behold, I just got done talking about wanting to find a new buck and we do have one. He's a nine pointer and it looks like he's got some kicker points right off the right base. So, pretty excited about that. And with this rain coming, one thing we're gonna do right now, something I wanted to do since we had the farm, we're gonna go to this northwest corner, and this is our biggest timber piece, as I mentioned on the camera at the four-year-old. And what a better day to do it before the rain. So we're gonna start pushing back here. I've got my cutter link running. It's gonna come off of this camera, I'm assuming. And right now it says 99 good. So I'm gonna take this as far that way as it's gonna let me find a scrape or create one internally. And uh, we're obviously not gonna go back there and check it. So hopefully we get some new bucks. If there's a spot that we're going to, I think this is one of them, so. Pretty excited about this camera and hopefully deploying it pays off. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, six o'clock here and what a productive day. We were able to get all of our cameras moved around and now we're just really praying for rain. You know, we're supposed to get this rain the next week. Tonight, it's cloudy, it feels like deer season. I uh, just got the drone in the air and taking a look at some of our plots and uh, you see the leaves are changing. Zach and I, like I mentioned, did make it all the way back to the far woods of this farm. And man, it felt just like a totally different piece. We did get that one camera up there. We made a mock scrape. Who knows what it's going to produce. And that's the spot that jumps right into my mind for a November morning. If we don't have anything else to go for, that's going to be a great spot. Just tons of trails in there and I'm sure there's a good buck somewhere. But yeah, I mean, this farm's pretty well set. The only thing we got left to do is obviously continue to learn it as much as possible. Uh, we got a couple cameraman stands to hang and then really just wait for October. We've got some established stands, probably do a lot of hanging hunting and then obviously adjust cameras as these bucks start to show up. But exciting times. We've got some really good deer to chase. We've got the Millie buck, uh, the chief deer, he's still around. There's a heavy eight pointer, that new nine with the kickers off the bases. And then the big four-year-old, uh, talked about him earlier today, but 
What a beautiful deer. Brad and I have both committed to passing that deer. You know, we both talked about it and it's what we've dreamt about having the ability to potentially do. Who knows, he might not even live here in the fall, but he's showing up more, so hopefully he does. And uh, it's one that we can chase next season. But so our plan's coming up. We're gonna head south. Uh, we've got some projects left to do on the draw farm. Really, we gotta get the whole camera set up out there. So be on the lookout for that. We're gonna basically cover start to finish how to deploy that Cuddy Link system and then finishing up some projects on the farm that I manage. So exciting times, uh, looking forward to it. And October 1st is gonna be here before we know it.